Nobu There are some, of course, I cannot like disturb it, but they died some and also others are living. So we just pray that you know, uh, the remaining ones should keep up or should live till they mature. So that is it. Yeah, yeah, we are just trying to use our local method <laughs> of keeping them by just uh, you know putting this so that they don't come out most especially the young one because if like the the older one if it wants to come out it can come out anytime yeah because it can jump and fly out but now the small ones they won't penetrate through those little holes so they'll just remain inside yeah this is their place where they stay during the day and then during the night they sleep this side yeah here is where they used to sleep but i think now they might be sleeping here i'm not quite sure yeah i'm not quite sure but because here we had we had a, a problem we had a problem with the flea is it the flea yeah. and seems like it is still there although they burnt you know but there is some certain white powder medicine that i'd wanted to buy but i don't know if it worked out I think I'll consider buying more so that I spray. I spray that white powder medicine. Yeah. Just come to see the bricks. Here we are again. Just wanted to show you some of the brick projects that have been, you know, have been collecting slowly. Been collecting some bricks so that I 
put up just some small structure like that one there. Yeah. These are ducks. Yeah, once I was rearing ducks like this, but in large numbers, you know. Yeah, and these are the structures that I'd put set up for the ducks. This one. And then there are two. I had one and then the other one. And ducks could be many all over here. At a certain point I wanted like to have like uh, one thousand ducks. So my plan was to 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 have like um ten. 10, 10 mother ducks that will be laying uh, 10 eggs each now in the process of laying 10 eggs and they hash them all that would be 100 you know so 100 ducklings if they mature all you know the first lot that is that means that you have a hundred the second one you have 200 you know by the end of the year you'd find yourself already in a thousand in that uh, almost after every two months those ducks what can can what can lay and hash like that after every so you can't like three months so that is like four times you know if you maximize well that is four times a year and the by the time you are at the third stage it will find that the first ones also are laying and hashing yeah and by the end of the year probably you will be already in a thousand so that was my calculation but anyway things turned out worse and uh, i got issues with the dogs so the dogs would come one time the dogs attacked from here and then they entered inside they found the ducks which were inside and then they ate them and also the the structure which was here for the ducks also the dogs attacked and then they ate then here i had little ducklings 36 of them were eaten by the rats so the rats would come and then they just eat out the eyes only <laughs> that's how i gave up with the business of the ducks you know and also another problem that we have here with the ducks or with the poultry the dump as you could see there is a dump there and then also there is another one down there so as you see those ducks already they are going there so when they when they go there and they eat uh, from the dump some people some people like uh, throw dead animals uh, dead birds so if, if in any case someone has got a disease from the farm somewhere and then comes and throws there the ones that we rear here are the ones that also will be affected because they will go there and then they what they catch the disease and then they sap they spread it yeah. so that's why almost every time you find that we have diseases even right now uh we had diseases for the small chicks and even the the what the the big ones right? we are dying of recent due to the fact that uh, i think within this season when it starts raining coccidiosis is almost there yeah so we had also that problem but nevertheless we are thriving and we shall continue with the business <laughs> i have I, I think i have that size like three and then um this mother hen and its chicks inside here so do I rear them for, you know, eating or 
as a business. If it was a business, there would have been many, but <laughs> so these ones I just rare them just for eating. Yeah, no business, no business. And even this area now is not looking good. The water table is up when it rains so much, water comes out. Yeah. Due to the fact that we are near the swamp that side. So uh, when I uh, used to rear the the chicken uh, in large numbers and then the ducks also in large numbers, this this was the medicine I used to use locally. I don't know what's the name in English. Yeah. But locally we call it omuetango. That is in the language used in um, in this central region. Yeah, you can see it. So I could get this. Then uh, there is also a certain tree here. It is bitter. Yeah, the tree, the tree has bitter leaves. It was located around here, but I don't know if part of it has remained. Yeah, but it was around this place anyway. So I could get that, then with this, and then I get some um, red pepper or hot pepper, mix it, and then give the the chicken and the ducks, and that could help so much. Yeah, it could help. I remember there is one time a, du a duck that was down completely for this place. Has a lot of flies around there. There was a, a duck which was done, but I managed to put it up by just giving it that medicine. Oh, that is sugar cane. Yeah, there is sugar cane of this color, then there is the one which is green papaya that is our papaya yeah so if you are still watching the video up to this moment kindly hit on the like button and subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that when we upload any new video, you can always get notified. Yeah, so this garden just ends from here. And then it goes that side. Right now it has been cleaned for new crops. Yeah. And it is my friend who stays there doing all this yeah because for me initially this wasn't my plan my plan was just to set up some single rooms here yeah just some small rooms because those are the the most valuable items that if you have here in this suburban setting you can really make money out of it yeah you, you you build rooms like those ones you see there here and you could make around 25 dollars each room per month yeah 25 dollars that is the the amount that you can charge from each studio so here probably if you have like five studios that is um that is your 200 dollars that you can earn around 200 200 that is uh, two and not 200 only but 225 yeah that you can earn 225 dollars per month 
that's something great, you know. Yeah, because if you are able to get 225, that's a decent amount for someone living in in Africa. Yeah, although to some people it could be small, but to me that is awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, the only place that you can construct is up there. But still, we had a challenge with the Nema. So that's why I, I kind of gave up a little bit. And then I told my friend here to be using the place as a garden as well as also staying there. Yeah. And it was the reason even why I had the collected the what the bricks that i showed you earlier that side yeah because i wanted to set up something here yeah but nevertheless we have been stopped but remember when you are stopped at least you plan for something else yeah so we are planning for something else yeah now i'm into something else for a moment as still also we eye somewhere else. Yeah, I really appreciate how these sugar canes have been maintained, looking very nice. Most especially this one. This one looks to be the biggest among us all. Yeah. So do you eat sugar cane where you are? I know we come from different parts of the world. Here crops are grown, you can gr grow crops almost like two seasons, yeah, two seasons. This is maize, yeah, it's called maize or corn, some people may call it corn, others may call it maize, yeah, that's it, maize or corn, whatever. I'm trying to find out what really died from here because something has attracted flies here this is the kind of fencing that you have to do at least to prevent the what the goats because here goats just move anyhow you know goats move anyhow so like for example if you have crops inside there and you don't want goats to jump inside you have to have something like this so that if they come they can only eat from outside yeah but they will not be able to what to jump over inside to create havoc right now the weather looks fine the sun is up and uh, we have some bit of clouds but they are not for the rain but nevertheless it might rain in the evening because the sun is too hot and with this season if the sun is really hot you have to expect the rain yeah, i'm feeling heat it's like i've stepped on this plant and <laughs> it's really itching me yeah we have like we have this one that one it itches and then uh, there is another one that one over there they burn like fire <laughs> they burn like fire if you have watched the video up to this moment kindly hit that like button if you haven't and also don't forget to leave the ads run yeah watch the video till the end and support the channel by leaving the ads to run this is colored green which we locally call uh, we, we call them what skuma week yeah so if you have been watching the video up to this moment thank you so much for watching and thank you very much 
for subscribing to the channel thank you very much for supporting the channel in whatever way you have been supporting just supporting by watching the video liking leaving the ads run you know joining membership and so on that's great and thank you so much you know for sticking to this channel from the beginning till the end i really appreciate you so much uh people uh, my friends and samaritans like tamika douglas thank you so much for supporting mom kevinish gold Auntie v they are miss v underscore nyc sister alex h papas driven jarel svg you know sister donna hart yeah morty smith and so many can't exhaust darling ex bustamente amando mom yeah big up to amando mom she's my new channel member yeah, kindly subscribe to her if you haven't check out all of them check out your real svg yeah subscribe to them if you haven't and Priska Sagati kindly check out uh, and thank you so much for supporting all and supporting others as well because we are here on a journey to grow so by supporting each other that is awesome yeah the sun has just disappeared for a moment I think it has just disappeared in the in the, in the clouds yeah but in that case it might end up raining <laughs> yeah anytime yeah just here with my friend and uh, i have a visitor that i'm going to check on right now yeah so thank you for watching if you haven't liked the video kindly like and then subscribe to the channel blessings for now and let's make in another one